Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. So what I'm seeing here, guys, it looks like there's a message coming in. This is something that you guys have been manifesting. This could even be a message from the divine that you guys have been manifesting. Clarity from the divine. Clarity on something that's going on in your life. But I feel like there's somebody that's thinking real long and hard about um, whether or not they want to come towards you and communicate something to you. Um, I feel like somebody... This is somebody that you have been close with. This is somebody that was in your inner circle, either currently um, or in the past. Somebody wants to talk to you about something that, um, this is that energy coming through again. Somebody wants to talk to you about something that you have recently achieved or they heard something about you. There's been some gossip or there's been some news about you spreading around. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody wants to take you out on a date. Not anything. I don't see you, you and this person going out on a date. Or it doesn't have to be like romantic. It could be just a. Um, this could be just somebody just wanting to meet up with you. It doesn't even have to be romantic. Somebody wants to meet up with you. I feel like somebody wants to meet up with you and talk to you about your spiritual beliefs. They want to talk to you about what you believe. This is somebody that doesn't really have, um, know what they believe in. It's like they don't really believe in anything. And it's like maybe there's something here that they want to talk to you about, about your beliefs. Like, so you guys be very spiritual. You could be very religious. There's something here that they want to talk to you about your spirituality. They want to, they want to know more about it. They want to learn more about it. They want you to explain it to them. So this could be for people like me who read tarot on a pu public platform or um, you're very public or very out in the open about your beliefs and they want to know more about that. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody wants to do something very impulsive, something very out of character, something very, um, but they don't want to act, they don't want to be too much. So I feel like somebody doesn't want to be too obvious when they're coming in with this communication or this message or these questions. Um, they don't want to seem like they're doing too much or that they're crazy. So I feel like somebody is going to try to um, play it cool when they come in with this communication. I feel like for a lot of you guys, I've been putting a lot of work into something here. And um, somebody's wanting to date you. Somebody's wanting to take you out on a date. I see that, that they do ask you out on a date. This is going to be somewhere like, I don't want to say intimate, but this is going to be at somebody's house. It's not going to be, I don't think this is going to be at a public place. But somebody wants to talk to you about your beliefs. All right, let's see. Let's see what else. What's this no chill? Somebody's afraid of being too much or coming off as, you know, doing too much. It's like somebody is like very, um, they admire you or they, you guys got fans is what I'm seeing here. You, somebody's a fan or somebody just is, um. You, somebody somebody here is getting some recognition, getting gaining popularity or in the spotlight. So what does this have to do with the no chill? Somebody doesn't want to come towards you and act like they're, you know, fangirling over you or. Somebody's afraid that they're going to get dismissed. So they're thinking about how they should approach you. <laughs> this person's viewing you as bougie. Like you guys are really well off or you just are enjoying, you You know, you're living your best life. They feel like you're, you're, they're a little bit beneath you. That's what I'm feeling here. So this person is trying to think about how to come towards you and not look dumb. That's what I'm seeing here. Hmm. All right. So tell me about squad. Tell me more about this person. 
Yeah, it's like this person has something that they need to say to you. They have something they want to talk to you about or they need to say to you. This person just wants to burst in and say what they have to say, but they're they're afraid of coming off crazy or too much. I don't know why that keeps coming through. So this person, yeah, this person's gonna be playing it cool. They're gonna be coming in acting smooth and <sighs> somebody's coming in to try to persuade you, persuade my collective to do what. They're coming in to persuade you to, to choose them or to, um, somebody's afraid of missing out on you because they think that you guys are, um, a catch. All right. They think you guys are a catch. They're afraid of missing out on you. They don't know. They're afraid to say the wrong thing. They're coming in, trying to being very charming, trying to win you over here. Um, but they're afraid. I'm telling you, this person's afraid of doing something stupid. What is this digital detox? This is somebody that could have um, just deleted you off Facebook, blocked you on Facebook, blocked you on something, took a break from you, took a break from speaking to you, put this situation or tried to put this situation on hold. This could have also thought that this is another person. This also could be a person that thought that the grass was greener on the other side. So they pursued something else that they thought was better or they put you on hold to really decide if they thought that there was something better than this or if they should pursue this. Or approach you somebody left here or it's like this person's afraid that if they approach you in a certain type of way that you're gonna block them or you're just not you're gonna leave them on red you're gonna unfriend them I feel like so for a lot of you this person's gonna be reaching out to you on social media somebody may be getting put on hold that's what I'm seeing here. This person's afraid that they're going to do something that's going to make you block them or walk away from them. All right. So tell me more about Netflix and chill. Put on blast. Somebody wants to have a conversation with you and it, they want to tell you, reveal something to you here. Yeah, they want to tell you why they ghosted you. This is maybe a situation where where somebody left you confused. You didn't understand why things why this person blocked you, why they deleted you off Facebook. They're going. They want to explain to you. They want. This could have been a situation where you felt like you lacked closure. Mm. Yep. Now this person's coming in and love bombing you. Now they want to give you a lot of attention. They're gonna want to. They're gonna come in and try to do something to try to influence how you react to them, or how do I? It's like they're they're gonna come. They're they don't know how to approach you. That's why they're taking a really long time to decide how to come towards you. They're trying to think of the best way to approach you to have the best outcome or the ideal outcome in their eyes. All right. So what's this person? It says something about hidden intentions. I feel like even if you guys are achieving a lot, you guys are really humble. You guys aren't, you know. Thinking that you guys are better than anybody else. Like you guys are just very humble. You're very grateful for what you have achieved or, you know, the blessings you have in your life. Um, yeah, it's like, what about, what about the flexing? Somebody's coming in and um, you're, you've been dealing with a person that tries to, they wear masks. They, um, what's the word? They fabricate. That's not the word I'm looking for though. This person tries to act like they have more than they do. That they're better off than they are. That they're doing better than they are. They like, they fabricate or they try to make themselves look like they... That they're more popular than they are. That they get more attention than they actually do. This person tried. They, but that's not the truth. It was never the truth. But I feel like this person had a big ego in the past. They tried to act like. They were just. This is a very prideful person. But now this person's coming in. They, they're going to have. For this person to approach you. They're going to have to set their pride aside. 
they're going to have to, this person's going to have to like probably, they feel like they're going to have to beg for you to let them back in. This person's coming in pretty much on their knees. This was like, this is kind of like that same collective reading that came out the other day. Like they're coming, crawling back. This person's coming in begging for you to take them back or begging for you to um, forgive them. Doing anything here to win you over. Mm. This person's afraid that you're going to judge them or that you're already judging them. Somebody is like unapologetically going to pursue whatever it is that they desire or what they want now. And maybe in the past, they did not do this. I'm seeing that. They tried to like stick with the status quo or whatever their, their idea of the status quo was. But now I see somebody that wants to go against the grain. Maybe that's why this person is wanting to know more about your spiritual beliefs or something. They say this person feels like maybe you're very different. You guys march to, to the beat of your own drum and that's inspiring to this person. And now they, it's like, it's inspiring this person to do the same thing. For those of you saying that you have been hearing this message for months, guys, it's always... You need to remember that when watching collective readings, that this may not be your reading, okay? It could be, and you guys need to also understand that everything happens in divine timing for everybody differently. So if it hasn't happened for you, then it's, you know, one or two things. This is not your reading, or it just is not your time yet. This and this and Another thing that you need to understand about these readings is that timing is fluid. So this could be talking about a situation that has already happened. This could be talking about a situation that's happening in the present. And this could also be happening about something that's going to happen in the future. All right. So it's like you got to kind of keep all those things in mind when watching these, re these readings. If you want something specific to your situation, if you're confused, if you feel like you just keep getting seeing the same message in the collective readings and nothing's happening for you and it's not you know, you're not sure if it's your reading, then that's probably when you need to get a personal reading and that will show you whether or not these collective readings are yours. All right. It may sound similar to your situation, but that does not necessarily mean that it is your situation. So if in that case, it's always good to get a personal reading to make sure that, you know, you're not watching, you know, being misled by um, the collective readings. All right. Or I won't even say misled. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're thinking that a situation is your situation and it's not. Everyone has free will, guys. So even if it's popping up in your personal readings... The person that you're dealing with, they could always choose not to come towards you. Just like you guys have free will. You guys can choose not to have anything to do with this situation that's coming through in this collective reading. It's like somebody is finally here, what I'm seeing. Somebody is finally not going to care what people think. People, it's like somebody here was too worried about what people thought, all right? If you guys feel that time is up, then that may mean that you need to, you know, close the door on this situation. You guys have free will to walk away from this situation. It is always, you always, the divine always gives you the choice. All right, so let's see here. I want to see a little bit more about who this person is.
All right. What's my collective dealing with? Characteristics. So for a lot of you guys, this is, um, you're dealing with masculines. So this may not resonate for you if you are dealing with a feminine, okay? Or this could be a feminine that is very much in their masculine energy that you're dealing with. Tomboy. So that just, that, that just shows me right there. You could be dealing with a feminine that is in a more masculine energy. All right. Your person may have a mole on their face. Green eyes. Your person can have green eyes. Someone that you're dealing with could like to wear red lipstick. Slim build. Skinny. This person that you're dealing with, they could like to dress like very comfortable. They don't really, you know, they like to wear sweaters, sweats, hoodies. For some of you guys are dealing with an older man, an older masculine. you're dealing with could have a long nose for some of you guys are dealing with somebody that has is hispanic descent freckles all right last card yeah we have feminine here so yeah this could be for feminine or masculine we also have high cheekbones Distorted masculine. Hmm. Yep, I told you. This is a person that has a big ego. They're they're very prideful. If this person does come towards you, just know that it took this person a long a lot. It took a lot for this person to come towards you because their ego is so big. They have so much pride. This person does not like change. Nope. This person does not like change. They don't like leaving their comfort zone. They could also have like a very toxic family. Somebody that they're in a family situation with is draining, is like a, um, drains their energy. With the cycles card coming out here, somebody could be dealing with a karmic. Somebody has a karmic that's been draining them financially, energetically. Yeah, low vibes, bad energy. They have some type of low vibrational person around them or and if they're you know so if they are comfortable in that situation they're low vibrational as well all right the comments are distracting me i just want people to understand how these readings work so that when they're watching them, they can interpret them the right way. So it has nothing to do with being a distraction. It's about explaining to people how they can, how to interpret these readings and how to take them so that they're not constantly wondering, well, why hasn't this happened for me? Why? I don't understand. Like, I get a lot of comments of people, people being confused. I don't want people to be confused when they're watching my readings. I want them to understand how these work. I don't want them obsessing over a person that may or may not return. So... So, yeah, look at this. This person has all types of low vibrational people around them. Their family, their friends, and a, a, a maybe a karmic ex or a karmic that they're in a relationship with. They're they're having they're in some type of situation where there's constant fighting. 
constant arguing. They may have tried to maintain a relationship with somebody that um, they were holding on to something that was draining them. What's this confidence card? This person had like a false sense of security. Guys, didn't I say this? So look, it says cop in your style. Someone likes how you dress, talk, look so much that they try to act like you. So somebody wants to, is like admiring you. I'm telling you, somebody likes your energy. They see that you have achieved a lot. They see that you, you guys, you guys, they, it's like they can feel that you guys are vibrating at a high vibration. They want that for themselves. They want to be at that vibration they want to be they want to be at your level so they want to come towards you and be like look you need to tell me how i can get there all right you need to explain to me is it your spirituality what is it i need to know i need to know your secret all right Somebody has actually been like, somebody has definitely been doing a lot of thinking and contemplating so much so that they have been in like a complete hermit mode. Like, I don't feel like this per. I feel like this person has been trying to withdraw from everybody. Like, I feel like they have been trying very hard to withdraw from this toxicity. They may not even be talking to their friends very much. I wanted to let you guys know something else about me. I have just like a very, I'm a very assertive person. I have like a very strong voice. And a lot of times people take me the wrong way. But I'm not like, I'm, I am, I'm perfectly, I'm not upset. I'm relaxed. I just want to throw it out there that this is just the way I talk. It can be a little bit intimidating to people, but this is me. So <laughs> I just talk like this. I'm like a more like loud talker too. So it can like kind of throw people off sometimes. But Somebody is like really overthinking things like that energy that I was picking up in the last thread where this person. Is trying they're really overthinking about how to approach you. This person is, is stuck in some type of mental prison. I don't feel like they like the life that they've been living. Somebody was too busy. They were they were playing somebody like was playing games, but. I feel like they don't want that anymore. It's like there's this person's on the brink of a spiritual awakening or they're in the process of one because now they're finally wanting like something deeper. They're like wanting to find the meaning of their, their purpose. They're wanting to know what the meaning of life is. It's like this person's ready to ascend now. And it's like probably you guys have inspired this person to ascend. This person's tired of being stuck in their head. They're start, tired of living their life for other people. They're tired of being in the, this drama. You know what I mean? It's like they're tired of playing games. You know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, having fun and enjoying your life. But um, it's like they're, they're ready for something deeper. And it's like something that you have inspired by watching you and what you have um, achieved. Or because of the energy that they have experienced from you or something along the lines of that. Now it's this person's ready to do that. They're ready to ascend. Look at this. Oh my gosh, guys. Woke. This person's waking up. I'm telling you. That's what I'm probably going to name this reading. This person is waking up. Exactly what I was just saying. Yep. They're aware. They know. They understand. Something. There's something going. There's something deeper. There's something deeper. This was a very surface level, surface level person, somebody that was probably raised very traditional. All right. They didn't know much about spirituality or, you know, vibrations and spiritual awakenings and all that stuff. Tarot. Now this person's waking up and it's because you have maybe shown this person something different. 
and they see that you guys are doing so well for yourselves. You guys are vibrating. You know, you guys are exuding this beautiful energy. And they're like, I want that. So I need to figure out what my collective has got going on because I want that. Mm. it's like yeah it's like this person's used to people that it's like this person is surrounded by a lot of people that use them for what they can gain or what they what they can take or use from this person that's what this person's used to used to It's like maybe this person realized with you that you were different, that you didn't want to use, you didn't need their money. All you really wanted was maybe like um, their attention, their, you know, for them to put some effort into you, like stuff like that. And this person's not used to that. All right. It's like you guys were just like unimpressed by their assets, their money. It's like you guys truly love you. It's like you guys showed this person what true self-love looked like. It's like you guys loved yourselves unapologetically and it showed this person something. It's like you 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 showed this person like, no, you're low vibrational. I'm not stooping to your level. Either you're going to elevate or I'm out. And this per that showed this person something. It changed their perception. It made them want to elevate. I'm telling you, you guys triggered an awakening in this person. Here, guys, I was just reading your comments. What is this? Somebody is like been just watching and hmm, what is this? Okay, here we go. We have an X here. What about the X? Divine Union. was refusing to stand up to their ex it's like somebody was a bystander in their own life that's what i'm getting here somebody was very like they, they were afraid to stand up to their ex so that maybe you and this person could come into union see oh my gosh guys look at this spirituality hater hating on your beliefs not liking that you're untraditional uncomfortable with your spirituality so this person may have originally been very intimidated by the fact that you guys were spiritual you guys had um non-traditional beliefs and that may be really intimidated this person or or guys this person had somebody else around them an ex or something that is aware that you guys are spiritual you guys have some something there's, there's something non-traditional about you and uh what is this bystander there's something here about somebody was intimidated by your beliefs because they're very traditional or they were raised very traditional. What about the X? Evidence. What about evidence? Having receipts. Someone has been keeping. Okay, so I was getting this, this energy. So their X could be watching you. I feel like somebody knows that you guys are spiritual or something about the things that you believe. Their X has been talking some crap about you. Somebody has does not have nice things to say about your beliefs, all right? And they've been talking, but this person was not sticking up for you either. Somebody had something to say about what you believe or something that you guys do that isn't considered traditional. Yeah. There we go with the high vibes. Somebody's just very high vibrational, but it's like maybe they were under the impression that spirituality was wrong or that it was fake or something along the lines of that. But they're like, they're, this can't be fake. Like my collective is just such a, their energy. 
It's like they, they couldn't deny that you're something about your beliefs because of your energy. You guys are so high vibrational. It's like making this person believe in something that they never that they didn't believe in in the past. That's all I'm getting here. But there's something here about their ex has been maybe trying to talk crap here. I feel like you guys were dealing with somebody that would, did not stick up for themselves. They would just let themselves be walked on by possibly an ex. You guys are much different than that. Too. You guys are much different than this person. But somebody here is salty. Somebody's mad. Somebody's mad about you. Why are they salty? I told you guys. Somebody's so whose reading was this yesterday? Leo, so this could definitely resonate with you if you are a Leo. Somebody has been spreading false information about you. So they could be spreading false information about your beliefs, what you believe in. Somebody's getting their karma, though. Someone is getting karma for the pain they caused. Receiving a dose of their own medicine, vice versa. Good karma could be repaid. So by you guys not engaging in some type of drama or bull BS. Yeah. Focusing on you. Not willing to stoop down, to, you know, lower your vibration to be with this person. Or engage in this crap that's been going on with this karmic. Or with this ex that you guys, that's coming through here. You guys are receiving some type of good karma, but I feel like there's somebody that has been lying about you. And this came through in Leo's reading. There's somebody that's been spreading false information about you, and they're about to get some karma for the lies that they've been spreading. And this is somebody that they possibly had to divorce or that they were in a relationship with. Oh, Lord. It's like you. this person's childish. Whoever this is that they're dealing with is very childish, but you guys are not like that. Yeah, look, it could be friends. It could be an ex. Somebody in their inner circle. I already mentioned that. Third party situation. Third party interference here. Yeah, this third party is, watch is watching you. This part, this third party wants to know what the what the heck's going on with you or what's going on with you and this person. Yeah, this person's twisted. This person is wicked. They're very weird type of person. This person's a user too. They 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 um exactly what I mentioned earlier. They were only dealing with your person because of materialistic things, money, what they could gain from your person. They were only trying to hold on to this person for money. Yes, this has something to do with somebody that was, they were married to this person. Hmm. Somebody feels like an idiot. They feel like a clown because they know that, you know, you, you guys are doing well for yourselves. You guys are getting, you know, something's going well for you guys. And they know that. And now they feel like an idiot. They feel like they were childish. They feel stupid. This person knows that they need to grow up. All right, I'm done with these cards. Let's see what else. All right, let's see, guys. I'm trying to think. What do I want to use to get more information about what is going on here? Because this is a hot mess. This is a hot mess. All right, where's my deck that I want to use? 
Uh, I'm about to use my deck, guys, that, uh, <laughs> what do I say about this deck? This deck, uh, always throws me for a loop, all right? sex with someone you know i smile on your face and so somebody um uh, maybe slept with somebody's friend Ooh, that just came out at the end of those cards it said something about a bestie somebody that was close so i why do i feel like this karmic may have slept with somebody one of their friends one of, with your person's friend why do i feel like that they, and they may have found out about that hmm Look at this incubus suck. Yeah, so this person has some. This is demonic. All right, this is. <sighs> Who just said we're smoking dope together? Were you playing or what? Because now we have cocaine, opioids, heroin, and meth here. Somebody has a lot of demons to conquer. Somebody needs to do heavy shadow work. All right? Heavy shadow work is needed. This person chose somebody over you that was toxic just like them. That was what they were used to was toxicity. Or that's who they are choosing to they were choosing to be with. But look at this. Your friends cannot be trusted. So why am I think feeling like so, guys, this person that's coming out in this reading, they may be finding out that this karmic slept with somebody that was close to them, their friend. So, yeah, I'm feeling like they're going to find out that this karmic slept with a friend of theirs. Mm. And this friend, they never even knew about it. This friend would be in your person's face like they were good. This is a, they had a two-faced friend around them, but they found out that their friends slept with the karmic. They realized that they can't trust their friends because they're two-faced. Yep. Somebody possibly has an addiction. Now this person wants to come in and try to mend things with you after they chose to stay in a toxic situation. Somebody could have also got an STD or an infection, unfortunately. Mm. Look, yep, health concern and STD or infection. And somebody's refusing to take owner. They're trying to say, I don't know how you got that STD. I don't know how you got that infection. Lord. But this person was, somebody was actually had bad, was intentionally plot, like, was plotting against your person. They had bad intentions for your person. And your person was too busy trying to kiss butt. All right. So, yeah. Now this person feels like you guys need to talk. This person feels lonely because they maybe chose other things over you. And now they have nothing left but their money. All right. This person needs heavy shadow work because they have childhood issues that they need to heal from. To heal from, to heal from. 